third and final objectives guide of today. We've done the shapeshifters four, three, and the weekly objectives in one. We also just did the Gwendozi shapeshifters cup objectives. Now we are ending the day with a shapeshifters Pepe Reina, originally a goalkeeper turned to a striker. Four star skills, five star weak foot, six foot two, 94 heading, some incredible physicals. This is just amazing from EA. I know I've got lots of new uh, goalkeepers, like position change in, in this promo. I know we've got Milinkovic Savic as a center mid, Neuer as a striker. Is there someone else? I'm not sure. Obviously, uh, and Pepe Reina, who has got the finish shot trait as well. So, yeah, you have gone all the way. He looks a lot of fun. Say so we're going to go over these objectives, give you guys my tips, tricks, along with a squad builder. And as always, the best and most efficient way to get these done. Without further ado, boys, let's get into it. First of all, we've got assist eight goals in squad battles on at least seven pro difficulty or rivals and foot champs. Simple, assisting eight goals. You'll get that done just by naturally playing. We've got keep two clean sheets in squad battles on at least semi-pro difficulty. All of these are on at least semi-pro or rivals and foot champs, by the way. It just saves me from uh, having to keep saying that every time. But keep two clean sheets. I know last time we had a clean sheet subjective, many people asked what it means. The comments was full of, I don't know what a clean sheet is. Now, essentially, a clean sheet means that you have to win to nil or not. I mean, it could be 0-0. Zero, zero. You just can't concede a goal. So you have to win 2-0, 3-0, 4-0, 5-0, 6-0, 7-0, 8-0, 9-0, whatever, right? Your opponent cannot score a goal. Score in three separate matches using Spanish players. And we have got win at seven matches. Once again, squad battle, semi-pro, rivals, or foot champs. Whilst having at least three La Liga players in your starting 11. Now, before we get into the squad builder, lads, what I want to say before we go into it, all right, is double them up. Do some of the objectives for the XP whilst you're at it. As you can see here with Shapeshifters 3, we've got play 5 matches with at least 4 La Liga players, and we've also got win 6 matches with at least 4 Spanish players. So, why not get 4 La Liga players, 4 Spanish players to get them done, whilst you are also obviously got the La Liga requirements and get Pepe Reina done. It is literally 3 birds with 1 stone, and I've already fought ahead and built up a squad builder for that. So for the squad builder part of this video, if we head on over to my squad selector and we head on over to what I just called OBJ, meaning objectives, this is what we have gone ahead and built up. Just some rotational players like giving Zambrotto, Rudiger, Mavididi a run, etc. Um, Mitrovic is in there so I can get the shapeshifters four objectives done, just simply playing matches with the shapeshifters in the lineup. But as you can see, we have got four Spanish players in Asensio, Danny Ceballos, Zhao Quinn, and Alba. We've got four La Liga players in we've got five La Liga players in Rudiger, Zhao Quinn, Alba, uh, Ceballos, and Asensio for the shapeshifter free of XP objectives. But we got the La Liga players for the Pepe Reina objectives. So certainly I can go into a game with this and obviously try to get some assists, get some goals with the La Liga players. I think it was it Spanish goals or uh, La Liga goals. But either way, we got like a full Spanish La Liga midfield basically. So you can just double up on it. Obviously, what you guys want to do is to be searching your club for Spanish La Liga players. You need obviously four of them for this to work. Um, so you can just choose the, the Spanish La Liga players in your club. If you do not have any great players, just simply go to Gold Rare. Once again, La Liga, Spanish, and search for like max by now of 2000 and just buy some of these guys, all right? It doesn't matter if I'm not the craziest players because at the end of the day, this will be pretty easy to do on semi-pro squad battles. If you do have good enough players like this, for example, you could probably do this in rivals or even foot champs if you're confident enough. But for the squad of battles, and assuming you are doing it in squad battles, for the quote unquote squad battles tip for today, lads, if we load up load up squad battles, we get given four teams for selection every single time. We've got a 93 rated with 33 chem, an 88 with 15 chem, an 84 with zero chem, and a 64 rated with zero chemistry. So what you're gonna to want to do is obviously choose the worst team in every selection. 64 rating, zero chemistry. If we play this on semi pro, which is the minimum difficulty required, we will absolutely obliterate this team by at least 10, 20 goals if we fully try, which means we'll be able to get all of the assists, all of the goals, Basically, every objective that we need done, we will get done within a singular match, right? Because we'll just be stat padding, scoring a lot of goals. And then from there, you'll just have to go ahead and obviously win the final six games for Pepe Reina. Um, if you are not comfortable to do the higher rated teams on semi-pro, I will circle it. You can update your opponents by pressing square on PlayStation and X on the Xbox. You get this option to update every 10 to 15 minutes. So you can play a game. 
update opponents, play a game, update opponents, and just keep playing the poor teams on repeat. Obviously, if you are comfortable enough to just play 93 rated teams on Semi Pro anyway, then there'll be no need for that. So there's another pretty short objectives guide today, but for the recap, assist eight goals, self-explanatory, you'll just get that one done. Keeping two clean sheets is why I recommend doing at least a couple games on Squad Battle Semi Pro and just keeping that clean sheet, getting that one ticked off. Scoring three separate matches, it is Spanish players. So scoring three separate matches using Spanish players, so if you're like me, you'll have to score with Xiao Quinn, Ceballos, or Marco Asensio, or Jordi Alba, but a left back's pretty unlikely to score with. Um, and then we've got win seven matches on at least semi-pro with at least three La Liga players. Obviously, you want to have four Spanish La Liga players in your lineup, so you can also be doing these shapeshifter three, La Liga five, and Spanish victory at the same time. It is two birds with one stone, which means after seven games, you'll have majority of these shapeshifters three objectives done, and you will also have have obviously all of his Pepe Reina objectives done. Lads, remember squad battles, if you do want to play it on semi-pro and you're not comfortable enough to be doing this in division rivals or foot champs, I think that's for you to decide and it just comes down to how good your Spanish La Liga players are. If you don't have like the end of an era cards that I had personally, then maybe it is best that you just do it in squad battles with your not as good players. Um, or if you have got the good players like myself, then you could simply just do it in division rivals. Once again, that's just up to you to decide and it depends on your team circumstance. If there's any further questions, make sure to let me know. It's been your boy Davis and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.